Welcome, folks. This is Tom and Tommy O'Brien. We do appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here on this beautiful February 1st day. Let's, this is one of our four agreements, Tom. Accept others the way they are. You cannot change other people. To try to change them to fit what you want them is like trying to change a dog into a cat or a cat into a horse. They are what they are, and you are what you are. Now we're going to look at all the colors, all right? Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up uh, 326, right up there, Tommy, right up there. NASDAQ's up 194, S&Ps are up 52. Gold, gold contract up $4.30, trading at 2,071 an ounce. You get silver up 13 cents, $23.30 an ounce. Light sweet crude down $1.66, $74.19 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note up 17 ticks, trading 117.28. Okay, look, look, we got to do this. The 30-year bond up a full point, plus 21 ticks at 124 in King Dollar. King Dollar right now is trading down 230, no, that's your microphone, 232 ticks at 103.042. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in y'all world. Now watch this, Tommy. No, he's not done until I, I show him the bond. Okay. Here, Tommy. Tommy, look at this one. This is... This I'm is done. this is the most important part I'm of the done. marketplace. I'm done, Grandpa. Okay, okay, you're done. You did good. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tommy. Happy birthday to you. Three years old, folks. Tomorrow. Okay, you did a great job, Tommy. Thank you very much. We'll see you later, alligator. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Have a good show. Thank you. You're going to love this, folks. Have a good show. Listen to that. Okay, so let's say, I want to start off with the bond, folks, okay, because this is quite a move, right? We, we talked about the, yesterday the aspect of the lows to the highs, straight line move. And then what we did is that we did a point. Sorry, I got, I got the show going on my phone simultaneously. Um, we, we did less than a 0.382 retracement. So that sets up an ABC structure on the way up. And on top of that, what we got out here yesterday, as well as today, is that you got monster volume. Look at this thing, man. Yesterday, we did 3.5 million contracts. Today, 2.4. So what does it mean? Well, what it means, folks, OK, is that just as, and we talked about this the um, last couple months, whatever, um, when Powell was going up on rates, the market went up on rates three months before the Fed actually went up on rates. And what's happening here is that the market's going down on rates before the Fed has actually, un un you know, basically gone down on rates. And if we bring up the 10-year yield, what you're going to see is that it's 3.24. Is the next place, place for support, and it also sets up the ABC structure on the way down. You can see what's happening here now. This is just the opposite, so you can see what happened. Yield October was the high, 5.02. You do a small bounce, and now you're going after the bottom. In fact, if I go like this, let me see. Yeah, good. It's a generic one. Yeah, go after this. What you're going to see. Is that the top of that there? 5.03, 3.7. So let's just say 1.2, right? And when 1.2 off 4.19 is bottom line three, right? And it's 3.24 down here. So this is even better than I actually thought. 3.24 is at the bottom of this consolidation. But if we get to, what did I just say, 3.24? If we get to 3, <laughs> that's even more intense, man. That's, that's sweet. Actually, 3, where's 3? I see. 3 is the top of the next level, which brings you back to, well, 2022. And so simultaneously what happened is that, and this is what had to happen for that S&P to go higher, 
is the dollar. You get, you get a lot of turnarounds today in the marketplace. The gold contract was down $20 and ended up being up $5, folks. The, the dollar index traded all the way to 103,811 and just gave up 811 ticks. The, let me go over to the gold so you can see what happened with the gold. The gold, there's no doubt, this is a rejection of lower price. You get volume two days in a row, which is saying we're going to break top side once again. We take a look at this. Yeah, big volume, man. Look at this. Yesterday, you do 238,000 contracts. We're 248,000 contracts. Now, you can see the fight, though. The fight, the fight between the bull and bears is huge, man. You know, because each of the bulls and bears, they know how crucial this area is. You know, this is an area that we had taken out failed, taken out, failed, okay? And the bottom line is that we'll see whether we end up taking it out again. But you're, you're at that level, you know, because, and when you have price and volume simultaneously going with you, most times, folks, you're gonna get that follow through. And this is gonna be that third time up into those levels. After the close out here today, we're gonna have Amazon coming out with numbers, and Amazon's gonna be looking to do 100 and 80, 166 billion to the top line, 80 cents to the bottom line. Apple is going to be looking to do 118 billion to the top line, two dollars and 11 cents to the bottom line. And Meta Platforms is looking to do 39 billion to the bottom line, four dollars and ninety-one cents to the top. Uh, Thirty-nine billion to the top line, four dollars and ninety-one cents to the bottom line. They're all big numbers, man, and they're all they're all they all continue to grow quite a bit. There's no two ways about that. So we'll see where the rest of this is going to shake out. Stay right there, folks. We're coming back with our man, Mr. Tim Wood. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now trading up about uh, 313. Got the Nasdaq up 190. S&P's up 52. We'll come right back.